Hi right, guys, I'm just going to show you briefly how to use a hand saw and what functions they have because most people or a lot of people don't know. Okay, if you see here, when my camera's focused better, this marker here, it's got 45 wrists on it, okay? This one up here has 90, okay? So 90 is the straight point of a saw, okay? Your straight line, your normal degrees, okay? Your 45 is this point, okay? Next part, I'm gonna show you how to use them and why hand saws, okay? Okay, why hand saws have the 45 degree and the flat function, how to mark it on a piece of timber, how to cut, and most importantly, how to hold the saw correctly. Now these bits are just shortcuts, you know, you can use other more detailed stuff, but generally they'll be, as long as you check it first, they're normally sort of 97% accurate, 98% accurate, which is all you need for most DIY stuff, to be honest with you. Okay, um, but the next part I'll show you how to mark with it and uh, how to how to hold the saw properly because holding the saw is the most important part. Okay. Hi guys, right. Uh, first of all, I'll show you how to do the angles what I just told you on this one. So if you're going to mark something at a 45 degree angle, you get this point here, the solid point, against the ridge of the wood. Okay. Hold. Make sure it's really firm. Okay. And then the flat part of the blade, obviously not the teeth, the flat part of the blade, you draw a line for your 45 degree angle. For the 90 degree angle, as I showed you, this is a 90 degree point, obviously bottom part, line against this part of the wood. Withdraw, that's a straight line, 90 degrees is a straight line, as simple as that, okay? Now, let me show you about this. So if I hold this, like, like some people do, hold it like that, or maybe that with their thumb or something, okay? If you focus on the edge of, end of the blade, okay? When I'm doing this straight line, okay? See, for start, I can't even get it all properly for a foot. It's just really hard work, but we start going into it, okay? And it's not, I mean, if you can, if you, obviously you can cut, don't get me wrong, but it's not gonna be as accurate, okay? Now, for example, if, we hold it with this phone, this finger here, this finger right here, you okay? Hold it firm. I mean, you normally have a little plate for this anyway, but hold it firm, okay? Straight away, you can see, right? The blade's not as wobbling as much at the bottom. Straight away, you've got more of a firm grip. And we do the 45 degree angle, okay? So we'll line it up, okay? I will place my fingers at the side of it, only at first, not where it's gonna to touch, but just to give it a slight, a slight guide. Um, I'll show you this angle because that would be a better way to show. So I place my finger here, start it off and straight away, okay? You can even see starting this point, holding it firm, holding it firm that way and my finger support it there to, to guide it, okay? It's not even jiggering around so much, is it, you know? Okay. Now I've got to start holding it firm, okay? Holding the finger firm that way. Okay, let's go back to this angle so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, another thing is this hand, okay, this hand, don't go here or here. Make sure your hand's clear, okay? There's a good there's a good place to go because obviously if I'm doing that, where am I gonna hit my thumb? Okay, so this is about safety too. So firm, plenty of room there, hold it safely go through okay you can see the line I'll be cutting okay okay then we can go more now when you're sawing as well it is good now, now you've got your your initial line through it's better to go down at an angle use the full blade okay now you've got your mark at an angle that you use the full blade one it's less effort. Two, it's more firm and accurate, okay? All right. Okay. And if we look here as well, where I've held it firmer, okay? We've got 
on a 90 degree angle, a straight cut, okay? Now, if we're doing a wobbly, it's gonna be all over the place, okay? I'll try, I'll do um, another quick line to show you at an angle, to show you what I mean, very briefly, by holding it in a, in a manner how people hold it, this, this sort of thing, or maybe a thumb, okay? Right, so if you sort of try and watch what the blade does, okay? Okay, and you watch what the cut does, because where the blade's wobbling at the bottom, you won't get, even even in straight away. Look, it's already wobbling from this part. Let's have a look from here. Is that one? Yeah, it's starting to go off slightly. But if you've done the whole thing, you'll see how far it goes. But the, so I'm trying to show you the accurate way. It may sound silly to some people, but it's not because this stuff's not being taught no more, and it's such a shame. Um, if you get a good teacher, brilliant, and it should be simple for you. But if you don't get a good teacher, please look at some of your skills. This is an old saw, old tricks, basic DIY, and that's my, that's this one for now, guys. Thank you. If you